Hello, welcome to my channel. Right so here. Okay, I'm gonna paint a new portrait. That's gonna be an anatomy study. As you see, I have here on my left uh, the image. I'm gonna pa paint uh, Daniel Crate. Crate. Sorry if I don't know how to pronounce his name. And I have a skull image, an image of a skull, which I'm going to paint first. Okay. Just one second. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to start just sketching. I'm going to mix orange and black okay okay let's see uh, here's gonna be my space for mixing my colors I'm gonna place the whole head around here yep. okay let's see top of the head the bottom of the head okay Let's see proportions first. The eyes usually are in the middle of the whole head, from the top to bottom. Okay, from the eyebrows to the nose, it's the same distance from the nose to the bottom of the chin. And the mouth is halfway from the bottom of the chin to the bottom of the face. Okay. Uh, hello, Kadir. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Bob. Hello, Dajan. Happy New Year, Dajan. Oh, hello, Emmanuel and Prince. Okay. Let's see. No. Uh, when I when I usually draw or paint the eye sockets, I just love to think about those antique. Uh, sunglasses that they were kind of like this. I don't know if somebody remember those. Okay, and I think about that when I'm, I always that I'm planning to paint or draw uh, the eye sockets. Okay, just like that. Now the top of the eye socket is just where we you know, paint the eyebrows. The bottom of the nose, here is a, a, a bone that is called the vomer. Okay, here we can draw a triangle, that's for the nose. Okay, there's no bone here. The nasal bone is just this portion. Okay, you can see in the image, I can see some shadows here. You can see some bumps. Every portion has a name, but but uh, you know it's kind of difficult to learn all the names. Basically, for for me, it's been always about painting. I have tried to you know memorize all the names when I was a student, but it was pretty pretty difficult. I keep forgetting them. I give up about trying to remember all the names. Okay, the cheekbone. Now the cheekbone is here. Obviously, you see the photograph or any person usually have a, ch a highlight in this area. That's the cheekbone. Okay. Here. Now it's closer to be aligned the bottom of the cheekbone to the bottom of the nose to the vomer bone. Okay. It's not perfectly aligned, but it's closer. In this case, when we don't have perfect measurements to be close, it's pretty good. Okay, hello Africa. Hello Jim. Hello Yvonne. Hello Diane. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue. No. Need more paint. Now here, the bone goes like this, as we see on the photograph. There is a link to the uh, lower photograph. I didn't place a link for the 
for, for the other photograph, but you can find any a lot of photographs, you know, on internet of uh, where you can find any position. Even there is some apps that we can just use to study anatomy. So many information out there. Okay. Here's the eye socket. I just work I'm working lightly because I'm gonna paint on top of this the face. Okay. All this area there is nothing, okay, but here obviously there are muscles. All these are muscles. The same here. And the teeth are just here. Like this. Okay, if we touch our face, the cheekbone here, we can feel it, okay? We press here, okay, we can touch our last teeth. In this way it has, we have an idea about the position of the bone on our own face. Okay, now the cranium. Hmm. The ear, this cheekbone goes to basically to the ear canal here. Oops, that's too much paint. You know that you can draw or paint with me? Or later, you know, watching the video. All my video stays here on YouTube. You can watch them for free. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Mm, are you checking? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna split the face in two here. This is the center line. Yeah. I always try to keep measurements, okay, hairline, bottom of the nose, sorry, sorry, eyebrows, <laughs> bottom of the nose, bottom of the chin, okay, yeah. it, you can keep those marks here, just on the, you know, that helps sometimes, because something that will happen when we add more pain, we, you know, we start losing proportions, and that definitely hurts our, our painting. You can be saying, uh... Glad you were doing this one. <laughs> I tried painting, painting it a few days ago. Oh, you tried to paint this one? <laughs> oh, wow. What a coincidence. Oh, hello, Africa from, from Spain. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Asma. Hello, Manuel. Hello, Monique. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, hello, Patty. Hello, Karen. Hello, Osvaldo. Hello, Sharon. Okay. I got some of my patrons here. Yeah, Monique is on YouTube. Sharon, Patty are in Facebook. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay, uh, I got here. Now, from the top of the skull, I need to make some marks here to, to for the hair. Yeah. I got both images here, the skull, the skull and the face on my screen. Okay, I'm gonna try to, uh, let's see, let me check out first the photograph. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna try to paint first half of the face. What do you think, this half or this half? That's gonna take me more time, this side, and then the other side. But first this one, yeah, and then this one, yeah. Okay, I'm going, I need to use a brush to take, to take out this, too much paint here maybe. No, the 
simplest way to just for me to prepare colors is just to start with two values okay I prepare just an orange I knock down the orange with blue or what or black oh I didn't mention the colors I'm using titanium white chrome yellow cadmium orange cadmium red permanent addition crimson cover blue and uh, ivory black okay now it depends uh, on anyone to use black or use blue or use both black is going to knock down the color really fast okay here we got one color touch of red just a touch of red okay let's see I got a reflected light here I got the light coming from here, reflected light coming from here, a little bit of shadow in some area of the areas of the face. Okay. Now I need a second color. Orange and black. A little bit of cadmium red. A bit more. too much black okay I need more orange on my palette some comments hello Carlos hello Lisa oh hello uh, Waria Joshua Simo hello Camilox seventh hello Joan hello Dida or Davorka hello Karen I'm going to paint a little bit faster, a little bit, a little bit. No, you can just pause the video anytime. I'm squinting down my eyes, you know, and checking out. Uh, uh, on a mirror all the time okay and uh, from time to time what I use uh, is Photoshop I capture my screen and I put it in Photoshop where it is easier to compare brush double zero this one let's draw the eye here
another liner brush a little bit of blue and black Number, num, no, number double seal brush for the mouth. Mm, let's see. Blue, light blue. Okay, I'm moving my eyes left to right, left to right, really fast from the photograph to the painting. Okay. As you can see, I don't have. Uh, too many details just basically trying to paint a little bit and compare paint a little bit more and compare I'm painting the shadow a little bit reddish a lot reddish I think See the bond here? Okay. All this area, there's a bump, the same is here. Okay. Here, all this is just muscle, the same muscle is going to be here. Okay. Muscles are attached from the, the mandible to the cheekbone, like this. Okay. And the same, those muscles goes to the mouth. Start your painting. Never thought that I could one day start a portrait by making this call first. Uh, I have done this like a couple of times. This is my third time. This is not the first time that I paint the skull first and then the face. Yeah. That's the first time that I'm basically I'm trying to paint half of the face first and then move to the other half of the face. Yeah, but I was just trying to, you know, well, entertain myself, trying to challenge myself into something. And at the same time, it's been a while since I have practiced a little bit of anatomy. Okay, what about the reflected light that I have here? What about the background? Uh, mm, a darker background, maybe it's going to be a good option. Uh, and uh, about the reflected light, I love usually orange as a reflected light. Let's put some some light blue. Yeah, what about some light blue as a reflected light? Oh, it could be. Uh, but I need to darken up the background here. Yeah. First, I'm going to darken up the background. On the darker. Uh, Oh, maybe black, black. A little bit, maybe too much. Yeah, just uh, 
things are gonna add a light blue reflective light, maybe brown. It's gonna be okay. Just thinking blue, the opposite color of blue is orange. A dark orange is brown. Okay. That means that if uh, I, I, then I'm gonna have some contrast here, not as much as just having just uh, you know brown and the orange and blue. But let's say that at least there's some contrast. I'm using a little bit of linseed oil to paint the background. go with the reflected light. I'm gonna try two options now that I'm thinking about this. Maybe it's not gonna glow that much in the, this light blue. Uh, let's see. Mm. Okay, the other option that would be Yellow, uh, definitely a light yellow dust. It's gonna glow more, definitely. There's, there's something with that. Yeah, I think yellow, that's, that's gonna be a good option. Yeah. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick up yellow just for the highlight. Okay, I'm gonna try to clean this uh, light blue. I'm not gonna be able to clean it just like a lot. That means that I'm gonna get a little bit of a greenish color here. Yeah, because you know light yellow and light blue there definitely gonna get some greenish color but I think it's, it's gonna work okay okay uh, let's see I think I see the ear in the photograph around here next to the nose uh, kind of here here and some highlight here Maybe I could work an, an hour on this side of the face and then an hour and a half on this side of the face. Could be. Let's see. Maybe I can add a lot of paint to this side of the face or, 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 or here. A lot of paint here and not paint at all here. Or few paint, you know, like I think I should be worried more uh, about the likeness more than thinking about the more or less paint. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just checking out this area and you know I keep mentioning always I go I prefer you know use straight lines even if I don't use it I just you know imagine them because in this way I group I group things and I simplify things in order to copy them
lighter color here. Oops, I'm gonna clean this. Work on the eye again. Let's see the eye is uh, so for new people. What I used to do is work a little bit on the eyes, then I move to the nose, then the mouth, and then I go back again and then continue. You know. For example, there will be enough for the eye. Then I move to the nose. I know it's not ready. I know that's not okay. Uh, but remember that it's not just about uh, painting just one eye and then the nose, it's about everything, okay? Usually when, uh, I'm gonna try to get the likeness, you know, um, if I don't get it, you know, that's gonna be okay. But likeness is about the position of every feature on, you know, on the face and the distance to each other and the size. I could get, for example, the position of the nose you know, pretty close to where he should be in, and in relationship to the eyes and the mouth. You know, but I make, uh, I paint the nose bigger. You know, that's the other thing. Okay, that's why sometimes when we trace, you know, uh, before painting, we trace, we start painting, and then all of a sudden, you know, we lost the likeness. Sometimes it's not because of the position of the features, you know, the eyes, nose, it's just because we change the size. And there are a few things that we tend to do, and that happens all the time for everybody. You know, we tend to paint the eyes, for example, a little bit bigger. That's the first thing that usually happens. Okay? Uh, I think maybe that's the only thing that usually happens to every, everybody. Yeah? The other thing is about values, that we tend to light up values and li light up the darker values, sorry, not light up all the values. That's not good. I gotta paint the pupil again. Make it okay, and then the highlight again. Okay, what about the skin color? I think I need to add more red. Yeah. Pretty sure he's he has blue eyes. Uh, definitely, I need to make his skin a little bit more pinky. Yeah. Oh, hello, C. Luxon. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, Lisa Edmondson. Hello, Karen Saprishian. Okay. One way to practice first, something similar, but I mean, maybe in a different way, that would be the, I always 
kind of common when I used to practice anatomy, but for the for the human body, it was uh, drawing the skeleton on top of you know photograph. And for that, uh, we used to pick up magazines, you know, fashion magazines, and on top of the models, you know, photograph. I I used to draw the skeleton. That would be like pick up the photograph and draw on top of the photograph, you know, the position of the eye socket, the nasal bone, the cheekbone, and all of that. Everything helps, yeah? Remember, because it's about to know that, for example, here's the, remember, here's the cheekbone. Okay, around here is, yeah? Maybe my drawing is not okay, at the cheekbone, and the cheekbone is here too. A little bit up, a little bit up here, cheekbone. And cheekbone. Okay, and when it's about painting, you better think about this. You see the, the, the scar, yeah? You see this, uh, there's a, a something spherical there. That means that we need you need to get that volume here. It's not something flat. And now when you're thinking about that, you gotta think about color. Yeah? Because uh, this area of the face is a little bit reddish. Okay, and when we try to create the illusion of something is rounded. Immediately we gotta think about a basic form. Okay, what's the primary form about something rounded? The sphere. Okay. Now my suggestion for everybody that would be paint a sphere or draw a sphere from time to time. That helps a lot. Okay. And that's because we need to understand uh, what's happening in that area in terms of a primary form, a sphere, in terms of anatomy, you know, this knowledge that uh, that we have when we paint or study the, the bones. Why? Because it's easier to paint something when we know what's, you know, beneath the surface, especially something as, as a face that has a lot of ups and downs a lot of convex and concave areas. Okay, now check out the skull and you see a bump here, yeah, a bump here, okay. Put it here. Try to, uh, you know, see the combination between these two images. the mouth. Mm, let's see alignments. Remember that I always have the image to my left, same size. That means that place the mouth here for me. Let's say this kind of easier, obviously, because I can use my brush. Look for the alignment between the photograph and my painting. Remember, if you like what you see, press the like button. The like button, okay. I've been told that that helps a lot.
Okay, hello Melanie. How are you doing? <laughs> okay, hello Mary. How are you doing? Hello Michael. Hello Janas. Hello Oswald. Is the yellow color light optional or you could put an another color? Oh yes, any color. Yeah, I'm just looking for to, you know, uh, this color here. I just wanted to make it a little bit brighter. The photograph looks like just some white light, you know. Uh, but uh, for the painting, I think it's going to be better if you just add something more. Okay, I'm going to light up the eye, the iris. a lot of fun here a little bit scared that what I'm gonna do with, with this <laughs> anyway I can make this my my thing, you know, paint first the scar and then paint the face and painting just first half of the face. My thing, eh, why not? Highlight around the face. Has this pretty pretty uh, sharp wrinkle here? Okay, what do you think? Do you recognize him? I mean, half of his face? I'm gonna block. No. A little bit, I think. No. Not yet. Some comments. Okay. Hello, Michael. Oh, Melanie saying you 
you have already cut the likeness already of the left eye and the mouth. Oh, that's good. <laughs> but then sadly, gotta leave. Wow, 4.45. Oh, I thought it was like 4.45 a.m. Must make dinner. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Hello, Bob. Okay, Sharon say, I enjoyed this rental. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, let me see, I'm just thinking, um, okay, I need to get this wrinkle pretty, pretty dark, and at the same time, this, it goes another one like this, mixing some blue with orange, to get some brownish, greenish color. Here, oh, here for this area, I need a little bit of red. Okay. What we're thinking, okay? Uh, see the scar and think about the ups and downs. See here on on the upper photograph. Don't forget we need some light here in order to create a bump, in order to create the, the cheekbone. Okay. Now the same here. Look at the uh, the skull photograph. Bump here and here. And we can see pretty clearly how the, this reflected light hits just the edge of the eye socket. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Anatomy is pretty amazing. Okay. Let's see the hair. I'm going to use some brown because uh, he's blonde. Now, another thing that when I'm drawing, always thinking about positive and negative spaces, okay? If I draw this area at the same time, I'm drawing this area, the background, the background and, and the face, the edge of the face. Okay, stepping back, squinting down my eyes. Okay, 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 okay. okay a little, I need a little bit of highlight on the mouth. Okay, for this area, the lower portion. Uh, for the upper portion, the nose, the eyes, uh, it's more uh, helpful, the, the bone, you know, anatomy. For this area here, what we need is our muscles. You need to know the muscles. That would be pretty complicated to do in a, in a painting. That definitely could be for a couple of sessions.
Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to exaggerate a little bit. Lights on the lip, lower lip. Yeah, what about there? Not yet. I'm, I don't want to make it perfect, or not right now, you know, uh, but I want to get closer. And from there, I'm going to move to the other half of the face. And when I got the other half of the face, I'm going to continue working on the likeness. That's going to be ov obviously easier to compare. Hello Evelyn, Evelyn saying hi from USA. here maybe it's gonna work I'm just trying to block block half of the face mm. yep that's okay okay I'm gonna move to the other half of the face wish me luck Same colors, I got this color here. Uh, all this area light, light for the nose. Cheekbone around the eye socket. The eyebrow is kind of here. The eye socket should be here, end up here, because the eyebrow is on top of the eye socket. If we touch our eyebrow, we can feel, you know, the bone. Yeah, there. Okay, all this area here is a plane that has a different different value it's not that dark because there's not too much shadow but i think we can see here for example this and we can see the shadow here because you see on the upper image you see more clearly here the cheekbone okay and all this area is full of muscles dark anyway. this color is just orange cadmium orange white touch of red a touch of black or blue sub 21 
back check out mm. yeah I think it's okay yeah. don't forget to like the video hey don't forget to like to press the like button Mm, okay. Pretty lightly. Measuring. I'm checking out the angle here. Uh, okay, a little bit up. Mm, a little bit to the left. Move the tear duck up and to the left. About there. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see, what can I use to copy? Uh, I think here, this is pretty dark, and the upper eyelid, it goes like, uh, I can draw in two, like with two lines, one and two, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm squinting down my eyes, and I see here it's darker. And here is pretty light. Okay. Now let's move to the nose. Again, we, we are just painting something around it. Okay, think about a spherical, a sphere. Think about a sphere. How do you change a sphere? Okay, uh, I mean, that helps me a lot. Uh, every time that I paint, I go back to the basis. You know, to thinking always about simple or primary forms. We call it primary forms. A cube. You know, a sphere, cylinder, and a cone. Okay, let's see the eye. Got the alignment. Yeah, that's good. Uh, for example, here on the white of the eye, what I see is a triangle. That's what I'm trying to copy. Okay. Now, looks like the same... Uh, how do you say length what high of the eye I can repeat the same measurement down here to draw the lower eyelid A 
as I uh, need a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, white, a touch of yellow. Squinting down my eyes, stepping back. Yep. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, Michael is telling me, are you sorted, sorted out now? Oh, not yet. Still working on things here. You know, right now I'm working from, uh, from the kitchen. <laughs> I can call it the kitchen of the hair, you know, because we're in summer and it's pretty hot. Yeah, especially, and on top, you know, you know, nobody's using the kitchen right now because we're still working, we're still working on the house. I stopped working on the house just for this month. I just wanna get back to paint because I haven't painted for like a couple of weeks. I, I think it was for more, like a month. Yeah. Thank you so much, Melanie. Thank you so much. Yeah. The article on Peru, uh, yeah, I think Gary sent me, I, I didn't read it yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it later. Uh, yeah, we're having a little bit of problems here. Uh, yep. Too many things going on here. on a, a highlight okay I just want to compare with the other eye pupil. It's kind of half of the eye is in shadow, you know? Half of the iris.
place the highlight on the nose I'm going to use chrome green have a little bit here for the highlights I got a little bit here it's the left over from from yesterday painting just chrome green and chrome green and white okay let's see highlights much green more white See some reddish color from the face. Pretty subtle, you know. On a woman, it's easier to just exaggerate the reddish color from the face. On a guy, is you know, uh, just a little bit. Nose. Cheek. Chin. The lower eyelid. Oops. Over the ear, the ear, a lot of red for the ear. Okay, now green. I'm mixing orange and cobalt blue, a touch of chrome yellow. Let's see about the value and dark. Light up this green. One green for faces is uh, pretty nice when we mix camion yellow and, and black or yellow ochre and black. We have a mute green that works pretty good for uh, for the face or even for a darker background. I'm going to blend a little bit. Uh, Gary said, are you using another painting as your subject? Oh no, that's, that's not a painting, that's a photograph. Or is a painting? I don't think so. Uh, no, I think it's a photograph. Hello, Mervat. Hmm. Uh, Melanie saying votes for chrome yellow 
true vote, vote for Lemon Yellow One. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mary, Mary, is saying, is that Chrome Jello? Yeah, yeah, it's that Chrome Jello. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm reading the comments of the okay. Uh, thank you, Art Iman, and I got a name here that I don't know how to pronounce. Sorry, two names. Hmm. Okay, yeah, okay, just thinking. Uh, Garu George is asking me, will you be painting Tuesdays and Thursdays now? I don't know. Uh, I just today I wanted to paint. Yes, uh, yes, I just wanted to paint today. Just that. Yeah. It's just I wanted. Just that. I didn't. Uh, I got here on my studio and I was just watching the computer watching the news and I said okay okay no more news for me I'm gonna paint hmm. and since uh, they say that I didn't plan anything ahead. I uh, I felt like uh, what I'm gonna paint, you know. I was thinking I'm gonna paint a still life. I'm gonna paint maybe something. I love to paint portraits, you know. That's the, it's just the same story for me. I think I'm gonna paint something different, and then all of a sudden I end up painting a portrait just the same, you know. It's just what I like. But I thought, okay. I gotta do something different to because uh, uh, and I remember that I, I I did the studies like this like a couple of times. Yeah, here I am. And I was I was thinking to paint a woman, but I thought, you know, that's gonna be kind of difficult to to paint a woman. All those or trying to paint half of the face first that would be that would be pretty difficult for uh, painting a guy, since especially on his face, you know, kind of the landmarks on the face are pretty, I'm gonna say, pretty uh, obvious and and easier to, to use, you know, to copy. Like this wrinkle here, this one here. Okay, there are a lot of things that helps for to to draw on this particular face. Or any guys, any any man, man man's face that uh that got some pre how, 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 can, how can I say kind of strong, you know, features?
can it so you hear the photograph okay that's better I think his nose is more rounded here. Just dabbing. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Uh, oh, Mary Jane, and turn off the news too. Watch, cha watch channels about donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Does he mean Patreon or Gary? Oh no, I think he means uh, YouTube, Monique. Yeah, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Channels about donkeys and about painting <laughs> in my channel. Oh, that's nice, you know. I imagine there's no, what are I gonna watch? Donkeys or Renzo painting? Yeah. Today I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch donkeys. Tomorrow I'm gonna watch Lorenzo paint. Oh, that's pretty nice. <laughs> uh, Mary is asking me, where are you renting a new house, old studio? Yeah, I cannot. Yeah, I, yeah, kind of new house, but at the same time I cannot say that it's a new house. A new house for me, but it's not a new house. And in fact, I need a lot of reparations. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you so much, Joan. Oh, Romeo, that's my real name. Oh, okay, okay, Romeo. Yeah. Why, the, why I see just little squares on your name? Painting down my eyes, and again, as I painting, for example, the eye, I'm thinking, hey, you know, this is something around it. There's a sphere inside the eye socket. I'm gonna just paint it like a sphere, okay. and I got to paint that sphere. I need to shadow, shadow light in the middle, okay. like here, for example, uh, shadow, shadow. A little bit of light in the middle, okay?
have to run some errands. Will you hurry back or see in class? Oh, oh, we hurry back. Okay, okay, Monique. See you. A bit of pink. Oh, Mary Saint Jacobs Rich Animal Sanctuary. Just saw Julian kiss a horse. <laughs> Julian has deep conversation with the donkeys. Oh, okay. Watch lots of art videos. Okay. Yeah, yeah I gotta read this out loud. Renzo, you're the best. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll take it. I saw your email, uh, Mary. I'm gonna send you a link uh, for uh, for a Friday. I think it's gonna be uh, good. Yeah, do you think Friday is gonna be uh, good for you? Friday night for the critique session.
go with the mandible, you know, as kind of, um, oh, what's something more here? It's the shape of the shadow here on the nose. a little bit okay now for the hair yeah I can come Friday for critique oh that's good Mary yeah oh Cora True Terry is asking me, can you not name the colors? Yes, I am using titanium white, chrome yellow, cadmium orange, cadmium red, permanent alizarin crimson, cobalt blue, and ivory black. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Pepa. Okay, I'm going to paint the hair. Add a little bit of linseed oil. I don't use uh, basically any medium for the face. I use linseed oil to paint uh, uh, bigger areas when, when I'm gonna just paint, uh, let's say, a little bit faster. For usually for the hair or the background. Let's see the background. Now this is just brown. I can add some blue maybe here. Just like the photograph, you know, it looks like it's a nice color. Blue, blue, but not that bright, a little bit dark. Yeah, because at the same time I see a reflected light here too, around the hair. I need a little bit of lincid oil. Make a brush. the back let's see here on the screen
just thinking and comparing. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna use this darker color. Oh, okay, I'm gonna use this violet. orange pure orange here okay. and some light color See the contour of the hairline it goes like this, it goes like this. Get a bit of green on the chin. Book drink what is telling me can you compare your painting with the photo close-up of Photoshop please? Okay. Okay. If I got just one more super chat, I will do it, okay? <laughs> no, just kidding. I will do it now. I'm going to capture my screen here just one second. I'm opening Photoshop. Okay. Okay, it's not good. Just one second. Oh, again, I gotta do it again. What happened? Okay, what I'm doing right now, I'm capturing this my screen. Now I'm going to share, just one second, I'm gonna share my screen with you all. In this way you can see what I do. Okay, I'm gonna do it now, uh, let's see. You see, this is Photoshop. I'm sharing my screen, okay? Now what I do is I'm going to pick up this photograph and make it bigger, okay, I think that's okay. Now I can see the differences, um, it looks like I'm going to reverse it, that would be the closer thing to use a mirror, okay, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, now I have a tablet, graphic tablet here. This is still working. Okay, now I'm gonna point out my own mistakes. 
Uh, let's see. I think I got the position of the eyes, nose, and mouth okay. Uh, okay, I think. Now, I see the lower lip. It's too thick. Yeah? Yeah, I gotta move the shadow a little bit up. Okay, what is about the shape of the face? I think I need to make it wider here. I'm gonna use this uh, wider here. I'm not so sure yet. Okay. Uh, now this eye is too open. I need to move down the uh, upper eyelid a little bit. Then it has too too much light. If you see the photograph. There is shadow here, light here, light here. This is shadow. Yeah? Yeah. If I see my painting, I see light, I see light, and I don't see light. Now, that's a value thing that I gotta fix there. Another thing, look at the light here, and there is not too much light here. There is light, but not as bright as this light. Okay, that's another thing I gotta fix. I got bright light, bright light. It's not good. I'm gonna reverse it. Okay. Uh, another thing is the forehead. The forehead. I think he has a bigger forehead, a higher, you know, a, and wider, higher, you know, a wider forehead. Uh, I can be wrong. If somebody sees some a mistake, just let me know. Okay. Okay. Uh, and this is something. I mean, it's not like uh, telling you, hey, go buy Photoshop and do this, but we get you know and and obviously if i'm painting from life I, i'm not gonna do this but having a mirror is pretty good having the photograph next to your painting the same size is pretty good you know because it's easy to compare when it's pretty close when we work from a photograph that is this size you know it's not it's not okay the same the same way that would be if we work with a photograph that is this size and we try to you know copy from a bigger photograph yeah, you think hey no that's difficult yeah that's difficult it's the same when you paint for your cell phone it's the same okay let's go back to the painting i see a few things that i gotta fix here the mandible the lip Okay, uh, about values, upper eyelid, forehead, you know, the mandible, something is wrong with the mandible. Okay. About color, I mean, I don't want to ask myself too much, you know. Remember that the idea about it was the, the Naremi study. Obviously, uh, I got that, I done that. Now it's about the likeness. Okay, it's about retouching, it's about to get closer to the likeness as much as possible. Okay, remember, you want to get the likeness, it's a lot about comparing. And I keep repeating that because, uh, you know, uh, it's important, just like I see people just painting from their cell phones. That's, uh, that's something that is kind of putting an obstacle to ourselves. Oh, thank you so much, C. Luxon, for the super chat. Thank you. So oh, two C. Luxon. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Are there sometimes UFOs seen by people in Peru? Oh, yeah, I have seen so a few. <laughs> yeah. A few? No, maybe maybe a couple. Yeah, yeah. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. But not simple things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you about that. I'm going to tell you about that. Maybe the chain is too long. Okay, I'm gonna check out on that. Hello, Ardish. Maybe the ear is different. Oh, the ear. Oh, the, I haven't painted the ear yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Mary saying you're brave to do this. That's a nice personality trait. Okay, thank you. Sharon's amazing. Reason. Okay. Love the violet. Yeah, yeah, I like it too. Yeah. How do you get the skull to match the the angle? Oh, oh no, I, 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 I looked for something that was close, and that was enough for me. It's not a perfect match. You, you know, just drawing, I make, I make it just to, you know, just by drawing, I adjust it. 
But no, it's not, it's not a perfect match. I just found the, the photograph that looks kind of closer and does it. But there is an app. If uh, there is an app, I don't remember the name. There is an app that you can just move, you know, this car on the app to any angle. And that's pretty amazing. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't have the app, but my daughter, she, she has it and she practiced with that. Uh, the thing is, yeah, I don't have a, a tablet. I just, you know, I have my computer. I think that's a version for computers too, but I'm kind of lazy to try that. Yeah. It's pretty good. I don't remember the name, but look for look for it because those apps to practice anatomy are pretty common, and there are more than than one. Yeah, you can just choose a score and move it, like it. Like I just change the point of view from one angle to different angles. That's that's pretty amazing. Okay, one thing I uh, try to remember what I I said uh, about um, move the shadow a little bit up. Yeah? yeah, move the shadow a little bit up. Then the next thing it was uh, the upper eyelid, and then the forehead, the shape of the forehead. Okay, now the other thing was the mandible. Okay, I started working on the chin. I'm gonna work on the mouth. I'm gonna move this a little bit up. I'm not so sure, I mean, I'm thinking that I should move the shadow first a little bit up. Okay. Now, uh, another thing that I'm thinking is about this angle here. And lower the light, move down the light, move down the light, bending a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna move down a little bit the upright lid. Okay. Now about, about, about values. Look more highlight here. This has to be brighter than the light here and, and than the light here. Okay. Yeah. I need more white on my palette. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go over uh, things, the chain, the mandible, the mouth, that was the eye, and then, what is? Oh, the forehead, the values. in the brush. I'm going to try to work on the shape of, uh, here's a little bit sharper, this angle, yep, and I'm just keeping on a shadow here, there's a shadow here, okay, okay, it's kind of, kind of sharp here, and see this closed here. Look at the shape. Mm. Okay. Smaller brush for the hair. Oh, 
if somebody wants to paint with me, there is, I have lessons on Patreon. Paint alone lessons. Okay, just like what I'm doing here, it's the same, but we paint in small groups. Okay, we paint Saturdays, we paint Sundays. It just, I have different tiers on Patreon. You know, for it, it starts from four four dollars. We paint Saturdays for a couple of hours. Then nine nine dollars to watch some of the recorded lessons. Fifteen dollars to draw alone Thursdays. And a hundred dollars that's the the top tier to paint. Tuesdays and Sundays and all the other, I mean when you pay the, the, the top, you know, tier, uh, you got access to everything, you know, to paint Sundays and Tuesdays that we paint for four hours, we paint portraits. Okay, let me see the shape of the hair, okay. I don't see clearly the shape of the head. Uh, I think I need to add this highlight on the hair. Okay, there. I think that, that helps. Okay. I'm going to use a different brush. Okay, this one here. I'm going to check out the comments. I'm cleaning a couple of brushes here. Oh, speaking about the UFOs. Uh, once I remember that I was just uh, speaking of with our friends. It was on the um, on the Sierra. It, it was it was it wasn't here in Lima. And we were just speaking just with some friends and we were speaking about that, you know, hey, you know, some people say that here on the mountains, uh, some people have seen some, you know, UFOs. And we said, no, for real, yeah, for real. And then we watched the sky. That was amazing. We see like a couple of stars, a lot of stars in the sky, you know, like this. And then one move like this, t -t 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 -t, walk like this, and the other one, the star walk like this. And then they stop like one point and one point. Just that. It was like, what's that? <laughs> yeah, that was the amazing. Yeah. Maybe it's not too much. I was amazed. It was like, what's that? I mean, what, you know. Okay, like uh, when I work the face, basically I use one value for the light, one value for the shadows, and then I start adding more and more values, you know, more variations. The same I'm doing here, you know, one color for light, and I got a base, uh, one color base, like I was just one value. I don't think right now which area is brighter or lighter or colorful. Basically what I'm doing I'm just sketching, drawing, you know, with color, with these two values, drawing the ear. Now I'm softening a little bit and I can start just continue drawing and painting and adding more color. For example, I can mix, you know, orange and red and this shadow here that's pretty dark, for this shadow that's pretty dark, I can use just this red and orange. Obviously, uh, the, everything is wet here on my canvas. If I already have a darker color here, uh, this red and orange is going to get mixed with that color. 
Okay? That means that I'm not going to get any in things, you know, bread. Let's make the face a little bit wider. A little bit here. And the mandible. Oops. Okay, squinting down my eyes. Checking again. Highlight. Yeah. Oh, I was speaking about my Patreon account. There is a link to my Patreon. You know, on the description box below the video. Or if you go to Patreon, just look for me like as Renzo Art. Hello, sketching art. Hello, thank you, Slanky. Okay, what is what is? I'm scrolling up to see if I, I have lost or I haven't read read any some comments. Remember to press the like button. Yeah, sorry guys, it just I have seen I've been watching, you know, so many YouTubers just saying the same. Over and over. Press the like button. The more I hear them pressing asking me to press the like button, the more I said, I don't know how to press anything. But anyway I gotta just say it. <laughs> Maybe I, I should try some, how do you say, re, re, reverse psychology? Yeah. Don't press the like button. I think that works, you know, there, there was a, I just came to my mind that there was a, a comedian guy here in my country that he used to promote things and every time that he promote, like, you know, so many things, he used to say, don't watch it. And for me it was like, what? I gotta, I gotta watch this, this thing, you know, <laughs> it triggers the opposite response for me. But for me, you know, it's just like... Maybe I, I was raised 
to go with this re re reverse ecology. Okay, let's see a little bit of the hair. Uh, he's blonde, a little bit of just green. Touch a little bit, a little, ooh, that's too much. A little bit of orange. like a golden here too greenish mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just thinking, just comparing. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, paint a little bit of the background, just like resting for for the face a little bit. It's always a good, you know, thing to do. It just Take a nap. Oh no! Take a cup of coffee and get this truck. Get you know. Uh, get away from the painting for a little bit. Do something else and then you go back with fresh eyes to check out the painting. For me, that obviously that doesn't work since I'm working on a live stream stream here. But maybe I can just, you know, got distracted just painting the background. Okay. Now I have here a sharp edge, obviously, around the face. I'm going to keep a lost edge here. Just edge here too on the neck. I added a little bit of orange just to add some variety to the color. I don't think it's working, but anyway, I'm gonna just go over that area in a minute. A little bit of red here, cadmium red. blue oh no now that I add in blue uh, I'm gonna work on the eyes a little bit more
to soften the edge. A little bit of light here, and I'm just gonna just lose the edge here. Lost the edge. It came to my mind that I gotta paint a commission. Hey. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Okay. Let's see highlights. Highlight on the nose. Highlight here. Thank you, De Deborah. Thank you, thank you, Sketching Art. Uh, Nicolas von Trepp is saying something here. Reverse psychology was how Peter the Great introduced potatoes to Russian peasants 300 years ago. They built a fence around the, field, the fields and told the locals, don't take anything from there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, looks, looks like in my country everything works like that. Any question about the painting or about, I don't know, materials or anything? Just let me know, okay?
Okay, I'm gonna read some comments. Sahar is saying, how can I blend? Okay, I think uh, the more important for blending, I think, is uh, is uh, just the, the brushes. Okay, you need soft brushes, and obviously a lot of practice, and especially about the brushes is I mean, for me. Okay, what what works for me? I have seen different painters using different things. Look at the stage of this brush. Look at the hair. Okay. When it, this brush is new, it's pretty pointy, but at this point is when it's pretty useful for me for blending. Okay. I got a lot of brushes like this. I use this for blending. I use I use this for blending. You know. A lot of them. I use a lot of them for blending. I don't throw them away when they kind of you know losing their shape that's when uh, I separate them and I start thinking about them uh, in a way that uh, how can I, uh, can I use them you know for blending okay and usually works because I all of them are synthetic brushes you know all of them Now, uh, I was thinking now that one of the things that maybe is going to be more difficult than, than blending, because blending with time, I mean, it's just practice, it's practice. It, eventually, everybody's going to be able to blend and end up with different, uh, with, uh, you know, really soft, soft painting. But one problem what happens when we blend is that we, for real, we want to kind of, you know, get rid of those brush strokes and sometimes we over blend and we end up you know affecting the values of the painting what I mean is especially the darker values the shadows okay I try to I try to blend between values but I keep my my shadows you know, I try to respect my shadows as much as possible. And I have seen, uh, you know, a few times people blend, and all of a sudden, I don't see the shadows darker anymore. And definitely that affects the volume, okay? You gotta be careful with that. I'm working right now on the edges and you know, like I said, every rounded thin object, you have some value gradation on the edges to make the shape terms. Okay. And at the same time, what I gotta do is working on values and darken up this. When I was using Photoshop to check out my painting, I mentioned that, you know, about those values. Okay. Another thing was about this side of the face. to knock down this bright light here.
what is here? Girl, girl, an old makeup brush works really well for blending. A makeup brush, uh, maybe no, not so sure. Is, is the brush is too soft? Maybe the hair is gonna come out. You know, I don't know. See, Luxon Seven. I think they changed a little bit more edgier. Okay, I'm gonna check on that. John is telling me the bottom lip looks like he's pouring because he's too low. Oh, there, there he goes. Okay. Square a bit more. Okay, okay. Melanie, it looks fantastic. Are you going to do more work on the ear? Oh, the ear. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, for, first I'm going to... Uh, I was checking out the mouth. Yeah, let's see. The main, the board here, the chain here. Okay. It's more curvy here. A little bit sharp here. Okay. Light. Light. Okay, the nose. Oh, some, somebody mentioned what? Uh, the bottom lip, okay, the bottom lip, okay. Yeah, maybe the shadow is too low, yeah? Yeah, it could be. I was fixing some values, darken up here, darken up here, darken up here. Some lights. What about the highlight, tip of the nose? I gotta spread it a little bit. Here too. To get the volume on the nose, you know, to make the nose pop. Okay, touch of red with orange. There. The eyes. Mm. Mm. Right here. Oh, the ear. Okay, let's work on the ear a little bit. Make a little bit of Alison Crimson with Camium Red. Oh, I 
I see some eyelashes on his eyes. Yeah. Squinting down my eyes. Mm. I'll read the comments in a minute. Somebody has any suggestion? Feel free to just write it down. Just hear that I lost the connection. I don't know if I'm back again. Can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Okay, let me read some comments. Thank you, Bob Drinkwater. It is copper blue, is asking me Sylvia. Yeah, that's copper blue. Mary saying goodbye. Next time you capture the likeness, nice watching you again. Thank you so much, Mary. See you Friday. Garo is saying, what colors can you mix to get a lizard and crimson? Yeah, you gotta buy a lizard and crimson. There's no way to mix a lizard and crimson. You could get closer, for example, mixing, you know, a uh, camion red with a touch of blue, but you're, gonna, you're not gonna get, uh, you know, the same transparency for the lizard and crimson. You're gonna get pretty close, but what is the beauty about this is in crimson, is the transparency. Or for example, that's what I love because I can apply it pure, you know, for example, here. It looks pretty dark, but when you get closer, you can see clearly that there's a dark red, it's no black. Yeah. And the other thing for glazes, a lizard and crimson is amazing. Okay. There are so many colors that we can get closer, but we cannot, especially transparent pigments. Yeah. There is a list, and uh, you get to any website, any brand website, there is a list list of transparent pigments. Any brand like Winton, Winston Newton or any of those, you're gonna find always a list that says which pigments are transparent. For example, lemon yellow is transparent, ultramarine blue, a lizard and crimson. Yeah, there's a huge list. And you cannot get those the same quality by mixing other colors. Yeah. But let's say that you cannot get it, you know, you're not able to go and buy it and anything. If you're gonna get it just closer, yeah, you can mix uh, cabin medium with copper blue and you fix the problem at least for the moment, but eventually if you wanna get, you know, the same things, the same characteristic, you're gonna get, you're gonna need to buy it. Oh, thank you, Melanie.
and just on the air and laying down a little bit of this color and almost touching just and then continue moving the brush and this way I mix the color here in the brush Now this brush that I use for, for blending, I pick up a little bit of paint like this. See what time is it? Two hours and a half. I think I'm almost done. I think I need a bit of green to you not know, for this area. Pop, drink what he's telling me, maybe darken his hair a little more. Oh yeah, it could be. Here, as an accent, just there. It's not that dark, but I think it works pretty good, just like, just there. So if we need an edge here, you have a, I have a sharp edge here, a lost edge here. Oh, 
Okay. Mm, definitely there are more things to do, but I think that's enough with what I have here. I mean, I see the portrait, I see, I see his face. Uh, obviously, if I start checking out more and more, more things start to, you know, to, to, to start to see more things, but I'm just happy with the painting, I think. See, Luxon is beautiful. My name is Caroline. Okay, Caroline. Oh, hello, Dar Darius. Hello, Frank. Hello, Saida. Uh, okay. can do I think everything is okay no Just thinking, you know, I'm thinking two things. Uh, darken up the hair and darken up the shadow here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I have a doubt there. No. Mm. No, no. The, the thing is, I think in this, I know obviously that I see the photograph. I, the hair looks darker, and this looks darker. But for my painting, I'm thinking more about kind of soften this edge. If I make this darker, it's gonna, you know, that push me to make the the background even darker, because I want this to be softer. Kind of lost, this lost, lost, soft, and I keep you know some sharp edges on the face included here okay. yeah. uh, obviously uh, sometimes you know we take a decision it's not it's not the right one but yeah. mm. Uh -huh. Another thing is this sharp edge that I see here on the, um, on the chain. It's kind of it's cutting my attention too much. I'm gonna soften that. I think that's enough, eh? What do you think? You know, I mean, I, 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 so there are so many things that they're gonna they're gonna be. I'm gonna darken up a little bit my my screen. I don't know if you see that's darker. I just need to check out the values. Yeah. I think I'm okay with values. Yeah, maybe now now I, I, I darken up the, the the 
my, my video I can see that there's a little bit of light here it shouldn't be as bright as Okay. I'll put it back, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Yeah. That's it. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. Okay. I hope you like the video, you enjoy, and you learn something. something oh I didn't work on the eyes I was thinking I want to work on the eyes and I completely forgot about that I think that's okay you know yeah. I don't think that some tiny touches can make the can make the painting better at this stage Okay, I think that's it. Yep. <laughs> Too many things to check out. Too many things. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. It's the difficult part, you know, saying bye. As soon as I'm about to finish up, I start seeing more and more things to fix.
okay that's it take care everybody see you next time bye Garu goodbye Caroline Sylvia Melanie Oscar um, oh let me see the ear seems to stick out a lot oh yeah maybe oh let me check out uh, wow yeah I painted maybe too too pinky yeah yeah a mistake yeah good night John good night Rosalba Saida Okay, thank you so much everybody, see you next time, take care you all, bye.